IPv6 hosts cannot communicate directly to IPv4 hosts. For that reason, several transition mechanisms were developed. In this video, we talk about NAT64. NAT64 makes it possible for IPv6 only hosts to talk to IPv4 only servers. NAT64 is based on Network Address Translation, or NAT, used today for IPv4 only. NAT is a mechanism that translates a private IPv4 address to a public IPv4 address. In the case of NAT64, the customer doesn't have IPv4 connectivity. It only has a unique IPv6 prefix. The IPv6 only customer is connected to the ISP's IPv4 infrastructure through a NAT64 router. When the customer wants to connect to an IPv4 network, the provider maps the IPv6 prefix into IPv4. For a typical residential to internet service provider connection, this would mean the inside interfaces would be IPv6 only and the outside interface would be IPv4 only. Imagine you're an ISP and you want to implement NAT64. To map an IPv4 address into an IPv6 address, you need a slash 96 prefix. This is because an IPv6 address is 128 bits and an IPv4 address is 32 bits. This leaves us with 96 bits to map the IPv4 address in the IPv6 address. You can either choose to use a well-known prefix reserved for NAT64 or you can use a globally unique slash 96 out of your organization's network allocation. The well-known prefix is not globally unique and should never be announced to the internet. This range should only be used if the translation box is accessed locally. Once the mapping is done, the NAT64 router will strip the IPv6 header off the packet and replace it with an IPv4 header. Then the packet will be forwarded to the destination. This mechanism can be done either manually, called stateless NAT64, or automatically, called stateful NAT64. What if the customer wants to access an IPv4 website? The customer is IPv6 only, the website is IPv4 only, so it only has an A record. When the customer sends a query for a quad A record for this website, the DNS response for this quad A record will be empty. One solution for this is DNS64. This way, when an IPv6 client sends a request to a DNS server for a website's quad A record and does not find one, it will still have the A record from the website. Therefore, the DNS64 server will map the A record into a quad A record based on the NAT64 router's IPv6 prefix. Then, the DNS response will be sent to the client. NAT64 is a transition mechanism that can be useful for mobile providers due to the massive number of devices that require IP addresses and the shortage of IPv4. Using NAT64 allows the devices to use IPv6 only. Bear in mind that in this scenario, the mobile phone needs to support IPv6 and not all apps support IPv6 today. If you want to know more about transition mechanisms, please see our other videos.